Welcome back to the 805 Barbecue Junkie. My name is George and check this out. I got a cowboy steak. It's a big bad boy right here. Let's see, let's see what it weighs. It weighs three pounds. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we have here. Not bad, not bad looking steak here, guys. And yeah, maybe a little bit trimming right here, but I'm not really gonna do much to it. Just go ahead and knock this little piece off right there. Let's go ahead and trim some of this fat right here. Just a little bit, not much. It's a little bit better. This is what I'm gonna use. Uncle Steve sent me a bunch of rubs and I tasted most of them. But I like, I like this one because it's an all purpose and the granules are on the bigger side. Let's go a little bit heavy because this is a real thick cut. I'm thinking even two inches right here. We're gonna go ahead and season heavy with this Uncle Steve all purpose shake. lucky shake Just push it in gently well seasoned steak yep that looks good right there go right in the middle of this yep and just push through. Yeah, it's gonna work out great. Kinda stretched out the steak a little bit, but it's all good. You already know, I'm rocking the fire cups. I'll leave a, a link in the description box so you can get your own. See that cube? That's where I put the fire cup. I use this little tool here. Just pull it out, simple as that. We're gonna let that go. I'm thinking half hour to 45 minutes. That baby will be done. We got the flames licking it. Man, smells good already, guys. So I'll bring you back 10, 15 minutes. We'll take a look at it then. Stick around. This is probably a good 20 minutes into it. That fat is starting to render real nice. Looks gorgeous. Then I got some big potatoes down there. All I did was wrap them in foil. Easy peasy. It's a quick big potato with some steak. 124, 123, 124. I think it's ready to pull off guys. How's that look? Pretty darn good. Money. Okay, tin foil over that. We're gonna let that rest 10 minutes and we'll dig into it. Is that gorgeous or what? Man. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and cut into it, see how we did. Good sign, good sign. All right, let's pour some slices right here. Pretty good, guys. Check this out. Bomb. Steak potato was easy. Simply wrap it with foil, toss it in the pit, turn it every now and then. Easy guys. Just barely pull them off the pit. Super hot. Make a slit right here in the middle. Smells good. Push in. Something like that.
I'm gonna get some Kerrygold butter. Get a nice little cube in there. Nice amount of butter. Mix that around a little bit. You know how we do it guys, the baked potatoes. You can put all kinds of stuff in the baked potato. I usually like mine fully loaded, but this is just a quickie. Ah, baked potatoes hot. Got a little bit of sour cream. Just put on top, a little dab. I love sour cream. My baked potatoes. This gator shake from Uncle Steve. Oh man. On the baked potato. Just like this. This has a uh, citrus flavor to it. Almost like a tahine, but on steroids. This is freaking bomb. All right, let's get some steak. A couple pieces here. Money. I got some corn. It's already buttered. Corn, the big potato, and most of all, the steak. Freaking bomb. Little taster with all of it. Cheers. Mmm. Well, mm hmm. Freaking delicious. That Gator Shake pops. Mmm. Freaking delicious. If you like my videos give me a thumbs up most importantly go ahead and subscribe gracias and i'll catch you guys next week laters